Le ministre des enseignements secondaires a développé une plateforme d'enseignement à distance pour les élèves du secondaire au Cameroun. Une série d'enseignements dispensés par les enseignants de qualité pour les élèves du secondaire. Apprendre n'a jamais été aussi simple avec l'enseignement à distance. Une initiative du ministère des enseignements secondaires sous la supervision du professeur Nalova Lyonga en collaboration avec le ministère des Postes et Télécommunications, la CAMTEL, la CIRTV et l'UNESCO. Nous introduisons l'enseignement à distance comme une autre méthode d'enseignement et d'apprentissage qui diffère du cadre de classe traditionnel auquel vous êtes habitué. Dans le mot d'enseignement à distance, vous n'êtes pas avec l'enseignant en personne, alors prenez votre temps, détendez-vous, écoutez l'enseignant, prenez des notes et visitez les liens suivants pour toutes questions ou réponses à vos préoccupations. Allez-y à votre rythme la solution du Cameroun contre le Covid-19 est au-delà. Professeur Nalova Lyonga, ministre des enseignements secondaires. Hello dear students and welcome to this class. I am Mr. Mbede Clovis, your English language teacher. Today we have a new class, but before we start the new lesson, let's look at what we have got for today. You remember, first of all, that last time we had a lesson which was on vocabulary. And we are going to start straight away with the correction of the assignment that was given last time, during the last class. And remember, the assignment was about vocabulary, relate, words and expressions related to tolerance and acceptance. And if you remember again, we had some quotes on tolerance and acceptance. And the assignment was about reading the quotes again, which were explored during the lesson and coming up with your own quotes about tolerance and acceptance. So the first quote that you were supposed to read and get some inspiration to come up with your own quote was, tolerance is a sign of wisdom and care. care. Tolerance is a sign of wisdom and care. The second one was, Tolerance is a good virtue, but people think of it as weakness. Tolerance is a good virtue, but people think of it this as weakness. Another one was compassion and tolerance are not a sign of weakness, but a sign of strength. Compassion and tolerance are not a sign of weakness but a sign of strength and the last one the highest result of education is tolerance the highest result of education is tolerance so let's discover what we have got as possible answers some of the quotes that we have come up with the first one is Tolerance is a sign of greatness. Tolerance is a sign of greatness. The second one, tolerance brings about happiness in the family. Tolerance brings about happiness in the family. The, fourth, the third one, rather, wise people are tolerant. Wise people are tolerant. And the last one on the list, Forgiveness is key to tolerance. Forgiveness is key to tolerance. So we repeat all of these four quotes again. We read again. Tolerance is a sign of greatness. Quote number two. Tolerance brings about happiness in the family. Number three. Wise people are tolerant. And the last one. Forgiveness is key to tolerance. So if you had your own tolerance quotes, that's very great. So these are the ones that we could come up with. And straight away, before we move to the next part of this lesson, that is before we introduce the new lesson to you, and uh, the lesson is about listening to information about cross-national celebrations. 
So I repeat again, today's lesson is entitled, it's a listening lesson, and it's about information on cross-national celebrations. Today's lesson is structured as follows. We will have the lesson objectives, the previous knowledge, lesson activities, an exercise and an assignment at the end of the lesson. So let's look at our objectives of today. By the end of this class, what do we expect students to be able to do? By the end of the class, students can answer listening comprehension questions correctly. That's the first objective of today's class. Answer listening comprehension questions correctly. That's the first objective. The second one, which is the last one, is to fill in a close passage with information about cross-national celebrations. Fill in a close passage with information about cross-national celebrations. These are the two main objectives of this lesson. We may have another objective as we have come up with a partial integration activity where you are going to use the stuff that you must have learned during the class to compose a paragraph that is another objective that will be coming up by the end of this lesson so now let's look at what you are supposed to know what you can do before you get to this class we expect that learners list some cross-national celebrations as you get to this class today, we, expect, we are expecting you to list some of these cross-national cele celebrations. The second thing we, we think you already know is you can name activities that are carried out during cross-national celebrations. During different cross-national celebrations in our country, there are different activities. And most often you are part and parcel of the people, you are, you are amongst the participants during these different cross-national celebrations and we expect you to be able to list at least some of these activities now let's revise your previous uh your previous knowledge this is a revision part of our lesson before we get into the lesson proper so you may have seen a picture on on the board and uh, i guess you know who is on the picture and the people who are there. So look at the picture and say what citizens are celebrating. What do you think these citizens are celebrating? The first thing that may come to your mind is that they are celebrating maybe a, a national day or a youth day. So let's see what they are celebrating. So the first thing that they are doing is that they are celebrating a cross-national celebration. It's a cross-national celebration. And how many cross-national celebrations have we got in Cameroon? Usually when we talk of cross-national celebrations, there are two of them in Cameroon, which are celebrated nationwide. And the first one is the National Day. It's the National Day, which is also called the 20th May or the unity day another one is celebrated and it is well known amongst youths so we have the national day as i was saying the national day which is also called the 20th may is the same thing or the unity day we may discover more about this as we get into this lesson. The second one, which consists of many activities whereby many youths are involved, is the Youth Day or the 11th February. The Youth Day. The Youth Day or 11th February. So let's move to the second picture. As you can see here, you can see pictures of people you see young people here right then so who are the people who take part who participate in cross-national celebrations when you look at these these guys here 
when you look at them, who are they? You may tell me that they are students, that's true. But there are two groups of people who take part in cross-national celebrations usually. They are grouped into two categories when we talk of cross-national celebrations. So we are going to discover the right words that we use to refer to these people in the next slide. And also, when we are taking part in a national celebration, a cross-national celebration, what are some of the activities that are carried out? What are the activities, what are some of the things that we do on that day or even before that day? Because usually when we organize cross-national celebrations, it's a week-long uh, celebration. There are different activities. So now, now let's look at the people who can take part in the celebration and then the activities that are carried out during the celebration. So, as I was saying, there are two groups of people, two groups of participants that take part in cross-national celebrations like the 20th May or the Unity Day or the National Day of Cameroon and the Youth Day as well. So, first of all, we have civilians. Who are the civilians? When we talk of civilians, you saw here these guys here. These are part of the civilians. It consists of students, for example, whether you are in primary or secondary school, you are part of the civilians. Citizens in general who are not part of the army, we usually call them the civilians. Then, who else do we have? Then we equally have the military. The military. Now you see the difference between the civilians and the military. The military, the armed forces, the forces of law and order. These are the ones that are called the military. Then, what are some of the activities which are carried out during the cross-national celebrations? The first activity, usually in most of the ceremonial grounds all over Cameroon, when students come in the morning or when civilians arrive, they listen to the heads of state's address or speech. That is, there is a replay Okay, there is a replay of the head of state's address or message to the, the nation. This always happens in most of the ceremonial grounds. Then we equally have what we call the military parade. The military parade is another activity which is so much loved by people. Then we also have the civilian march pass or the civilian parade. We can call it a parade as well. A parade is any, any activity whereby a group of people who are well organized march in, a, in order and pass through in an avenue or on a street. So as we were saying, we have the military parade, we have the civilian march past. These are the different activities and do not forget the replay of the head of state's message to the nation. So, now let's look at the problem solving situation for this lesson. So remember that your uncle heard about cross national celebrations recently and he doesn't know what it is all about. And as a student, he wants you to tell him more about cross-national celebrations. And there is a nice program which is on the radio. You need to listen to that program in order to gain or get some information that you are going to share with your uncle. And the information is about cross-national celebrations in Cameroon. Let's be specific because each country has its cross-national celebration. So that's what we are going to be doing today. Now, let's look at these statements as we introduce this class. The first statement reads, the Cameroon National Day is celebrated every 20th May. That's the first statement. The second one, May Day, May Day. 
is a cross-national celebration. That's the second statement. The third statement, on Labor Day, Labor Day, teachers celebrate the teaching profession. That's our third statement. And the fourth one, Cameroon National Day symbolizes the unity of people. Cameroon National Day symbolizes the unity of people. So we have the words National Day, May Day, Labor Day, which are celebrations. And we have the word unity, which is very important. Now, you are going to listen to a short recording and you will answer true or false. May Day or Labor Day and Cameroon Unity Day are observed in Cameroon every year. May Day is on the 1st of May, while the National Day is on the 20th of May. On Labor Day, workers celebrate their love for their jobs. Cameroon National Day marks the unity of Cameroonian people. Good. You've listened to the short recording. So now, let's check the answers and see. The Cameroon National Day is celebrated every 20th of May. Is it a true or false statement? So the answer is true. For the second one, May Day is a cross-national celebration. Our answer is false. May Day is another word for the 1st of May. Right. Then, the third one, on Labor Day, teachers celebrate the teaching profession. The answer is false. And Cameroon National Day symbolizes the unity of people. Is it a true or false statement? Thing is, it's true. That's what the text says. Now let's move to another activity for our lesson where you are going to quickly read this in about one, in less than one minute. Quickly read the close passage and get ready to fill in the missing words upon listening to an audio recording. Cameroonian citizens celebrate their national day for many reasons. It is a state symbol that celebrates the dash of the Southern Cameroons and the French Cameroon. In dash, the head of state decrees the day as a dash over the national territory. May 20th celebrates the joy, love, and attachment of citizens to a dash Cameroon. So now you are going to listen to a second audio. And as you listen to the audio, you fill in the closed passage with the missing information. Cameroonians see the National Day as a symbol of national unity. On this day, citizens celebrate the reunification of the Southern Cameroons and French Cameroon, which occurred in 1972. On Unity Day, offices and companies are not open. It is a public holiday all over the country. This follows a decision by the head of state. Citizens show their joy, love, and attachment to a united Cameroon. Good. So let's check the answers very quickly. And Cameroonian citizens, the first answer, let's look at it, is reunification. The second one is 1972. So the first answer, reunification. Second one, 1972. 
The third one is holiday, when we talk of a public holiday. And the last one is, you talk of a united Cameroon. So the four answers are reunification, 1972, holiday, and united. Now, I'm going, you are going to scan some questions and listen to another audio on how the National Day is celebrated in Cameroon. And you will answer the questions by writing down your answers. The first one, who presides over the National Day in the capital city, Yaoundé? Second one, list any two activities that are organized nationwide before Celebration Day. The third one, how is national integration showcased during the celebration of the Unity Day? Now you listen to the audio. The National Day is celebrated in a special way. As a public holiday, series of coordinated nationwide march paths are held. In the capital city, the President of the Republic presides over activities to observe the day. The Governor does the same at the regional level. Activities to mark a week-long celebration include educative talks, sociocultural activities, cross countries, and unity walks. All of these take place before the celebration day. On D-Day, the major highlight of the event is on the military prowess of Cameroon and the show of living together through unity and national integration expressed in dressing, dancing, and food. Okay, now let's check your answers. We just go to the answers and then you just check if you've got the right answers. So, for the possible answers, for the first question, the answer is the President of the Republic presides over the National Day in the capital city. The question was, who presides over the National Day at, in Yaoundé? The next one, you were supposed to list two activities that are organized. So two activities that are organized include, before celebration day include educative talks and unity walks. There are many of them in, in the passage, in the, in the audio. And the last one, national integration is showcased through dancing and dressing during the celebration. <laughs> Uh, let's move to the first exercise or to the exercise that we have prepared for you. Using the answers you provided for the listening task, write a short paragraph on cross-national celebrations in Cameroon. You should indicate the following. The name of the celebration. What celebration are you talking about? That's the name you should indicate in your paragraph. Then, when the celebration is observed or when it is celebrated, then the people involved in the celebration. We equally have different activities which are organized. And at the end, you give your personal impression in terms of what the celebration, how meaningful the celebration is to you what the celebration means to you and as you're writing your short paragraph remember some of the notions that we had before you were taught how to develop a paragraph remember your topic your topic sentences okay when you are writing you should have a topic sentence as you are developing your your paragraph and each time you are writing your paragraph you are answering like these questions because consider these are questions what is the name of the celebration the name of the celebration is you are answering the questions as you are writing a paragraph the second question you are going to answer is when is 
that particular event celebrated, then who are the people who take part in it? So each time you are writing a paragraph, you are developing your ideas, put in mind that you are answering questions. Ans different answers to these questions will make up a good paragraph. So let's look at what a paragraph, a model paragraph could look like. And you are going to see in that paragraph a topic sentence and different other types of sentences. So this is what a paragraph looks like, the paragraph we are suggesting to you. Cameroon National Day is by far the most popular cross-national celebration in my country. So you see, you've already indicated what the National Day is for you, is for your country. You say it is by far the most popular, okay? It's the most popular. Now, when you are answering the first question, or the second one, the event is celebrated. The frequency of the celebration, it's every year. This is what we need to see in your paragraph. And the day, on 20th May, then the people. You see, each time you start your sentence, we need to see the key words or the key phrases that you uplifted from the guideline questions that were given in the instructions. Then, you see at the beginning, activities carried out. We, we are expecting to see activities carried out as you are writing your paragraph, as you are developing your paragraph by people, include military and civilian parade. Remember the word parade or march past. Then equally have educative talks and unity walks, among others. There are so many, but you choose to talk about three or four. Then what is your, how meaningful is it to you, the celebration? As a Cameroonian, what does it mean to you? As a Cameroonian, you have to specify. We are talking about Cameroon National Day. As a Cameroonian, the celebration means unity and togetherness amongst Cameroonians, amongst people. So this is how you develop your paragraph. Now for the assignment, you are going to read the sample paragraph again and complete the clo close passage that follows. So the paragraph we have just developed, when you get back home, you read it again. Cameroon National Day is by far the most popular cross-national celebration. Then, the event is celebrated every year on May 20th. The people involved in the celebration are civilians and the military. Activities carried out by people include the military and civilian parade, educative talks, and unity works amongst others. So, what are you going to do as you read this? You need to fill in this other close passage with words that you have selected, with the words that you must have selected from the paragraph. That's how it's going to be. So this is the close passage. And here, this is where the close passage ends. And the words that you are going to use are found in the model paragraph. So you read the model paragraph once again and you fill in with the right word. So this is how we end the class for today. And uh, our next lesson, which is coming up, is going to be on vocabulary, words or expressions related to cross-national celebrations. <laughs> Una tege majang matege ndom mane tambia ninya ne njubya yen ngani bana matege mot ngani la kiri watege ndong esetina bia dinki do mane tambia ninya ne njubya yen tam tama mote tam zabike tam tama tonge tam zabike tam tam tama mote tam zabike mane tambia ninya ne njubya yen